74 foot boat built by a Tulsa man in his backyard is nearly ready to set sail. The project, taking over 10 years to complete, just entered the Tulsa port of Catoosa less than an hour ago. The boat, named the SV Seeker, having a large following on social media, prompted many people to come out and see its caravan. 2 News Oklahoma reporter Brady Hobleib was there at the port of Catoosa today to see what the hype was all about. He joins us now with the details. Brady. Yeah, the boat and the caravan of cars following it got here about an hour ago. It actually had to go from the builder's home onto the highway here to the port of Catoosa. And it's a very, not an easy trip, especially for a boat this size, but a very popular boat nonetheless. The Doug Jackson, the builder of the boat, documented the entire project on YouTube for the past 10 years. And since then, he has gained nearly 200,000 subscribers to his channel with more than 800 videos. Now, if you're unfamiliar with his YouTube page, you may have noticed the boat being built outside of his home. It could be seen from southbound traffic on Highway 75 near North Tulsa. And today, spectators lined the highway here on 266 just to see the SV Seeker drive by to the port of Catoosa here, some even coming from out of town. Well, we're actually just passing through town and uh, the husband's been following the SV Seeker for years, a couple years now, and just happened to be in the right spot at the right time. It's just exciting to see it actually get into the water. Um, I know he's, he's worked really hard on it. Now the boat is fully complete but not put together just yet. That's what they'll be doing over the next month or so before it officially sets sail. Jackson says the SV Seeker will give free rides to students, researchers and scientists who are interested in exploring the oceans and waterways around the world. Now it'll make its first debut giving free rides at the Three Forks Harbor near Muskogee. That'll happen on September 11th between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. For now live in Caduceus, Brady Halbleib, 2 News Oklahoma.